Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Craft Fashion Media. My name is Eva Rosie and in today's demonstration, I'll be showing you guys how to make a shift dress or kimono dress. So if you're new on my channel, I thank you for coming around. Thank you for becoming part of this family. And I would like you to touch that uh, subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you also very much for your support. God bless you all. And as you can see, I already have my pattern set on the table. What I actually did was to transfer the basic block pattern that we already have on this channel so if you don't know how to draft a basic bodice pattern just click on the link in the description box for you to know how to do that and that was actually what i transferred on the paper you are seeing on the table so without further ado let's get started so looking at the pattern you will discover i already have both front and back neckline marked out already so for the front neckline what i actually did was to measure four inches depth and four inches width then for the back neckline is one and a half inch depth and four inches width now the next thing to do is to extend the pattern to my hip measurement so i'm going to connect from my shoulder to my hip i'll be measuring from my high point shoulder to my hip length According to my measurement, I have 22 and a half inch. Measuring from my waistline downward, I have seven and a half inch. Now I'm going to square a line equal to my hip measurement. And that is my hip line. Upward is my waist line and I have my under bust line. And above it is my bust point line and followed by the armhole line. Now let's move over to the shoulder area. According to my shoulder measurement, I have 15 inches, which is seven and a half. That was my shoulder measurement based on the pattern. Now I am going to extend my shoulder by adding extra six inches, as you can see. The reason for this is for us to achieve our sleeve length. And I am going to square a line downward and this line will serve me as a guide as we proceed. Now let's insert a new shoulder seam length. Because of the extension we already have on our shoulder line for the sleeve, we have to insert a new shoulder slope measurement. And I'm going to come down by 2 inches and I'm going to square a line towards the neck area as you can see and that is my shoulder seam length on my armhole line, I am going to come down by one inch. The reason for this is for us to achieve our sleeve. So I'm going to square a line connecting to the green line that is connected to the shoulder seam line. Now you can see the reason why I drew the green line from my shoulder seam length down to my waist. So on under the armhole line, I'm going to come in by one and a half inch and connect my sleeve as you can see. 
and that is my sleeve. Now let's insert our boss second friends. According to the measurement, I have 38 inches divided by 4. That will give me 9 and half. And I will mark 9 and half. And add extra 2 inches on the same line. Now I am going to connect with my armhole curve. Now my sleeve is well formed. Now let's insert my underboss measurement. I'm going to insert my underboss measurement and add extra one and a half inch. I will do the same thing on my waistline and I'm going to connect with a straight ruler the extra I added depends on your preference on and how wide you may want your kimono or shift dress to be so let's get to the hip line I will insert my hip measurement of 40 inches divided by 4, that will give me 10. And I will still impute the one and a half extra that I added on the other places. And I'm going to make a connection with my hip curve. And I will connect the other line as well. Now I am going to insert the full length of the outfit. It depends on how you want yours. Mine is 57. It is a long one. That I am trying to make on this video and I am going to extend the line to 57 inches as the full length of my outfit and I will connect it by and as well add the extra one and a half inch I added in other places as well it is that simple The next is to insert our pocket. I am going to mark one and a half inch above the hip line and under the hip line I am going to mark three and a half inch. As you can see I already have my pattern drafted for the kind of pocket that I would love to have. So I'm going to place it there. So the length of the pocket as you can see I, I added five inches as the length and I'm gonna connect the curves as you can see and that's it and that is my pocket so as you can see as I'm passing through my hand into the pattern the five inches length is enough for my hand to go through the pocket and that's it. 
So now I'm going to cut out the patterns and transfer them on my fabric. Looking at the material, I am trying to show you how I am going to run my stitch. That's how I'm going to run the stitch. And I will repeat the same thing on this other side of the pocket. So for the floral ornament on the dress or applique, I am going to use my hot iron to fix it on the dress by placing a hot iron on it and it will glue on the dress. That's how it's been done. so guys thank you for watching keep watching to the end and i hope to see you on my next tutorial that will be all for now bye bye